Hi everybody, today we're going to be doing a um, the final touches to my cosplay, which is going to be Mimikyu's makeup. Uh, I'm not going to do it like exactly like how Mimikyu's face, or fake face, because its face is actually on the stomach part of the costume, but still. Um, like, not exactly do that, but do something a little different that's more to like what my what the style of the cosplay I made is going for. Um, I have a picture of Mimikyu right here, and uh, yeah, so like I said, it's not going to be exactly the same. I've already, even though you can't tell that well, because I'm super pale, so I don't like to use um, the brown part of contour too much, because I think it makes my face look weird, but I already uh, primed and put contour on my face. Yes, this is what I look like without eyeliner. I feel so naked without eyeliner on it, and so a couple things before we go on. Yes, I know my eyebrows are uneven, and yes, I know my hair is a mess right now, but I'm trying to keep it pulled back. I only really use cruelty-free brands. There's a few exceptions, like uh, leftover makeup I have from when I was a teenager, but um, so for my primer, I used Wet n Wild, which is cruelty-free. Even has I don't know if you can see it, it even has a little bunny on it that says cruelty-free. Uh, face primer. Yes, this is drugstore makeup, but I'm also broke. And then for my contouring, I used Wet n Wild uh, Dulce de Luce. I know I said that super white. And I also used Bin Nye Theater makeup, which I recently found out is cruelty free. I thought that was interesting. And my foundation I use is I use Kat Von D's Tattoo Concealer because she's honestly, this is my favorite makeup. Because not only does it stay on a while, um, it, I don't know, I also love Kat Von D and she's vegan and I know she doesn't put anything in her makeup. And I'm also, the reason why I prefer cruelty free and vegan makeup is because, um, whatever regular makeup brands put in their eyeliner, I'm allergic to it. And so, like, um, I'm, I don't know, I'm allergic to it because my eyes always get super red and I, like, break out in hives. So whatever they put in their eyeliner and mascara, I just don't agree with so that's why I always just went with vegan and cruelty free brands so I was raised by a tomboy so I honestly had to teach myself how to um how to do my makeup so yeah so first we're going to a lot of people do the lips last but I think I'm gonna do that first um I actually have no oh it's wet and wild cool I have no idea where this black lipstick came from but and it's a bit faded, but it's wet and wild. I have no idea where this came from. <laughs> I got it, someone gave it to me on Halloween once, so now I'm gonna get super close and look off to the camera and do my makeup. Lipstick actually, I guess, is pretty old, because it's not, it's really sticky. So luckily I have backup lip black lip liner. No idea where that came from either. To help fill that in. I was kind of avoiding using it because um I don't like my lips to look shiny. I actually love that matted lipstick is in right now. So I'll see. Honestly, I might just go buy new black lipstick. I was gonna buy black lip, much more black lipstick, but I didn't have any at the drugstore I went to. Ugh, this looks horrible. I know everybody wants big lips, but they are the worst to outline sometimes. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to get more of my Ben Nye makeup out. Be right back. So why do I have been a lot of Ben Nye makeup? Well, it's because I um, actually took a theater class, a makeup theater class, and that's why. And it was really fun, and it taught me a lot about makeup, because before that I didn't really know how to put makeup on. And uh, that class taught me how to, because like I said, I was raised by a tomboy. I really still feel like I don't know how to put makeup on. I might have to 
go get some black and matted lipstick. I think Target sells more cruelty-free brands. Um, Freaking Rite Aid only sold one for some reason. And I have a Rite Aid card, so that's why I went there to get the discount that they were having for Wet n Wild. Okay, now let's put the lip gloss over and see what that looks like. people are like, oh, just use lip liner. Oh, I'm sorry. I hate lip liner with a passion. I think I'm definitely going to have to get some um, black matted lipstick because I didn't know this one was so old. That's the point. This is supposed to be a test. So now I'm going to do Mimikyu's smile on my cheeks with Kat Von D's eyeliner or her tattoo liner. Honestly, my favorite eyeliner. I love it so much. I think I'm going to do the eyes next. Mimikyu literally looks like he went like this with his giant claw. So I'm going to do the eyes. Still trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. the more I look like a Tim Burton character, which is fine. He's my favorite director. I mean, his light stuff. Nightmare Before Christmas is my favorite animated movie, of course. Could you expect anything else? Alright, now we're gonna do his cheek. His cheek kind of looks like he's doing this motion, and I'm not gonna make his cheeks nearly as big. Apparently I forgot to clean this brush off. Oh, it's still not clean. And some people might say with the droopy eyes that I um, might look sad. Well, Mimikyu generally always kind of looks sad because he just wants some friends. And that's why I love Mimikyu. Look how dirty that brush was. I really need to start cleaning my brushes. And don't say, oh, you really should, because I know a lot of people out there don't clean their effing brushes. If you're wondering who this brush is, it's also Midnight. I went with orange instead of red. It's because I always felt like Mimikyu's cheeks are more orangish than they are reddish. Because he's trying to mimic Pikachu, hence his name, Mimikyu, instead of actually be him, even though he actually incredibly hates Pikachu. I don't know why I keep on calling it a he. I know they can be both genders and I'm cosplaying as him. I should have added the shadow first. 
but I didn't really think I was going to add any until just now. And we're going to fill in my eyes. some pencil black for the, uh, I need to sharpen that, and some pencil black for the eyebrows. People are probably wondering why I didn't just use pencil black for the eyes, and it's because I sweat really easily. So hopefully it's not too bad. gonna have a pigtail bump because I've been wearing my hair up for the past and here are the ears I made and then drew this guy's 